This video is about partial charges and how we can calculate the partial charge on atoms in diatomic molecules. So we've learned that electronegativity measures how strongly an atom pulls electrons towards itself when sharing those electrons through a covalent bond with another atom. So for example, here in the molecule HCl, chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen, so it pulls electron density towards itself. So it does not share those shared electrons equally. It pulls them towards the chlorine. This means that chlorine will pick up a partial negative charge, indicated by this little small Greek letter delta and a little negative sign. Hydrogen, on the other hand, since the electron density has been shifted away from it, will pick up a slightly partial positive charge, delta positive. So we would like to be able to calculate these partial charges. So in general, for a more complicated molecule, we would need to use a quantum theory in a computer program to do that. But for diatomics, there's some simple rules involving electronegativity. So we can use this equation for calculating the partial charge on some atom A. That's why there's a little subscript A on here. So the partial charge on atom A is equal to VA. And VA is the number of valence electrons that the atom has. And then we're going to subtract from that n sub a, which is the number of non-bonding electrons. So we're going to count those lone pair electrons and add them all up. And then we're going to subtract from that the number of bonding electrons. So b a is the number of bonding electrons. And so these are the electrons that it's sharing with the neighboring atom. But we don't get to count all of those bonding electrons since it's sharing. And so we're going to divide up those bonding electrons based on the electronegativity. So we're going to look at the fraction of the total electronegativity that atom A has. So we're going to multiply by the electronegativity on atom A. And we're going to divide it by the total electronegativity of the shared atoms. So that's going to be the electronegativity of atom A plus the electronegativity of atom B to which it is bonded. So to get an idea of how to work with this formula, let's apply it to HCl here in our example. So chlorine, if we're trying to calculate the partial negative charge on chlorine, chlorine has seven valence electrons. And if we count up the number of non-bonding electrons, we see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six non-bonding electrons. And then we're going to subtract off the number of shared electrons. And right here in this bond, a straight line means a pair of electrons. So we've got two shared electrons. Now we need to look up the electronegativities on the Allen scale for atom A, which is chlorine, and atom B, which is going to be hydrogen in this example. So let's look up the electronegativity value for chlorine. And we find that it is 2.87. And so we're going to divide by the total electronegativity, so 2.87 for chlorine plus 2.30 for hydrogen. So now we do the math on all of this, and we find out that it's a negative 0.11. So not a full minus 1 worth of charge. That's why we call this a partial charge. It's only a little bit. It's a little bit negative, 0.011. So if we were looking at this molecule, HCl, then we might imagine that on this end of the molecule, there's a little bit of negative charge, negative 0.011. And since the total charge of this molecule has to add up to 0 because it's neutral, the partial positive charge on the hydrogen will be equal but opposite in sign. So 0 0.11 for the partial charge on the hydrogen. And so that's how we can calculate partial charges for simple diatomic molecules.